Gemini, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. I hope you guys aren't causing too much trouble out in planet Earth. I've had a few clients already that I've dealt with just recently telling me about their, about their heartbreaking Gemini lovers. So let's see what's going on with you, Geminis. Let's see what's going on with Geminis from the 21st through the 27th, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on with the twins? You guys just naturally have this mischievous aura to you. Let's see. What's going on here? Let's get three more shots. What's going on with the Geminis? <clears throat> My goodness. From the 21st to the 27th. Let's get one more shuffle. Mm, okay. Here we go. King of Cups. You're dealing with a water sign here. Seven of, eight of Cups. Walking away from something. Death energy. All right, well, Gemini, I am getting the sense that you guys are dealing with a possible breakup. All right. I am seeing some sort of emotional detachment. I feel that's, I mean, this could have been a, this could have been quite a pair here. We got the king and the queen of cups. All right, could have been quite a partnership nevertheless. I see a lot of emotional distance, could even entail physical distance. Despite the type of distance, it is distance to say the least. Somebody's moving towards singlehood, towards their independence, towards leaving a situation out in the dark, in the cold, for the wolves to eat and devour. Three of Swords, goddamn. All right, so what's going on here with the King of Cups? <clears throat> the King of Cups is very, very disappointed. Five of Cups. This individual's sad. This individual's looking at the situation with a bit of remorse, sadness, could even be regret. This could be you, this could be the person you're dealing with. Whomever this is, this person is definitely emotionally invested. They're sad, they're down, and they're out, is what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> Two of Swords just flew out. Let me add that they are also confused and uncertain about which direction to go on when it comes to this relationship. The Hermit. Thus, this person here is aloof. They are going within themselves. I don't feel that they got much of a life at this time, okay? They seem quite devastated, to be frank. <clears throat> this individual is in need of healing. <clears throat> What's going on here with the Eight of Cups? <clears throat> All right. So, Eight of Cups, Three of Coins. Tell me more. What is this individual walking toward? The World card? This is closure? So, this person is relinquishing the relationship as a whole. Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me, buddy? They're relinquishing their relationship. Is that, what you, is that what's going on? The sun. They're pursuing their own happiness flat out. Somebody here is just like, you know what? I'm done with the situation. It's filled with lots of obstacles. And I'm just not giving any effort anymore in seeing eye to eye with this individual. I'm moving towards closure. I want my own happiness. I want to be in peace. And I'm moving on to a new beginning, baby. That's what I'm doing. All right, look at that fat old ace of coins. <clears throat> now we move on to the new beginning, death, okay? I love death. That's why I have a Lord of Death here on my arm to my left. Death, you see many times when we think about death, we think of moral death. Oh my God, death is scary, I don't wanna die. But death happens on a daily basis, ladies. At least for those that grow, unless you're a complacent little creature, unless you're a complacent little human and you remain the same and you don't grow, and you don't experience the power and the significance of death in your life. But we die all the time, ladies and gents, from adolescence to, <clears throat> to our adulthood. And you know, we just go through many transformations and metamorphoses, deaths and rebirths. Nevertheless, there's a death ensuing in your love life. What is this about? <clears throat> okay, I don't know why that flew out, but I feel it was a typo. Six of Cups, Reconciliation, Ten of Wands, this is relinquishment. Tell me more. Yeah, someone's done. Done. This shit is just way too heinous, too discombobulating, too distasteful, all right? Somebody here lost 
taste for something. They are overwhelmed, burdened by the idea of even reminiscing on this person, and they'd rather bring an ending to this. Thus, cast death upon the situation. <clears throat> Mind you, there's death everywhere, okay? There's death in the meat that you eat. Okay, ladies and gents, do not fear death. You're alive and breathing because of death. Now, what is going on with Gemini? I want to see what Gemini's energy is towards their person. <clears throat> what is going on? Talk to me about these twins. These twins. Is one from heaven and the other one from hell? Or are both the twins from hell or from heaven? Let me know in the comments. <clears throat> one from heaven, one from hell, or is it, are both from heaven or are both from hell? Where are the Mary Immaculates? Where are the Liliths? This is a beacon for you. Talk to me about Gemini's energy or whomever it is that they are dealing with. <clears throat> All right, Gemini, let's get into it. Five of coins at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, what's going on? Happiness all around, ladies and gents. Okay. The Sun, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Coins. Talk to me. I want to clarify this. Two of Swords, Reciprocity, Six of Coins. So you're telling me that Gemini here is exuding what? Gemini, I feel that you are finding happiness elsewhere. I feel that you really have turned your eye towards a completely different direction. I feel that this situation could have put you in a place of confusion, a place of feeling stuck, and you found happiness in the abandonment of it. So as this situation was abandoned or left out in the cold or feeling, you know, just unattended per se here with the five of coins, the sun shines through. And I feel that you are moving towards a significant energy of emotional groundedness, emotional peace, emotional stability, emotional balance. Wow. Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. This is a brand new beginning. You're feeling good. You're feeling good. But now what's this? Ten of Coins? Ten of Cups? This is this is definitely has to do with a partnership. <laughs> I knew it. You see, Gemini, there's an element of separation here. And you're going through some sort of growth. You are attaining this sense of emotional groundedness and stability. And then, bam, baby. I was wondering what that Ten of Cups is about. It's all about coming back. It's all about coming forward and opening yourself up again. So <clears throat> you may you may be opening yourself up. That's what I'm seeing here, Gemini. It's like after a period of like, okay, I'm done with this shit. I'm finding my happiness in a new beginning with myself. I'm content. I'm peaceful. And now you're like, damn, I kind of want to dance with the devil all over again. That's what it looks like to me, buddy. So let's see. Tell me more about this Ten of Coins. I mean, Ten of Cups. Tell me more. So, where does Gemini fall into this? <clears throat> a lack of contentment. You still see hope in this situation. Even though there's been a fallout here, you still see hope in this situation. Damn, there's been a lot of disappointment on your end. Alright, I feel that you did go through a lot of sadness. But, you fucking outgrew it. Gemini, you outgrew it. And you outgrew it in... Hermit energy. You outgrew it in isolation. You outgrew it in an element of introspection. All right. You took advantage of your alone time. You took advantage of your quiet time, and you got your head cleared up, cleared up to the point of to the point that it looks like. Look, I don't know why Siri goes on. I don't even say Siri, and then my phone turns on. They're always listening, ladies and gents. <clears throat> Anyways. So, Gemini, it seems to me that you, after some introspection, are having the realization of wanting a new beginning with whomever it is that you got on your mind. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What's going on with Gemini's person? What's going on with Gemini's person? What's going on with Gemini's individual? What's going on with Gemini's individual? 
I gotta take a step back, otherwise you only see my eyebrows, you know? <clears throat> I'm standing up, by the way. I'm not saying I could sit down, but the goddamn chair doesn't have a back lean, so then I'm hunched over like Notre Dame, and I don't want that shit, so I figured I might as well stand. Talk to me about Gemini's individual and their energy towards Gemini. Let's get three more shuffles. What's going on with Gemini's individual? Get two more shuffles. Boom, baby. Okay. Ooh, six of wands. The chariot and the four of coins. Okay. So, wow. Somebody here is wanting to come forward and give you attention. Okay. I see. This is somebody here that has exudes a massive sense of confidence here with the six of wands. It seems like they got... This person could be... I'm going to be honest, it could be a bit of a player here with the Knight of Wands. All right, we've all heard of the notorious Knight of Wands. There's a lot of Leo energy here. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be an Aries, a lot of fire energy. Nevertheless, this person can receive a lot of attention. They could be in the limelight. This person here can, can be very exciting, very passionate, and like I said, confidence. I'm telling you, there's a lot of Leo energy here with the sun. <clears throat> Nevertheless, they are jumping on their chariot and they are headed your way. So it seems. The magician. Hmm. Seeking to manifest what? Seeking to manifest what? Talk to me. The hermit. Something that they've held deep within themselves. What is this? What is this individual seeking to attain here? Communication. They want communication. Is that what you're telling me? That's lame. I'm sure you want to. Oh, they want to. They want to make love to you, Gemini. They want to this and that. So I'm being real, this individual just simply wants to talk. All right. It seems as if they're trying to make us make an investment here. Hmm. Page of coins to the hierophant. Make an investment that can grow into something at a later time. I really just get simple terms. I feel like this individual wants to raise the degree of significance. All right, raise the degree of significance of the relationship that they share with you. Damn, I bet none of you even understood what I just said. They basically want to improve the relationship, okay? That's what, that's what I meant to say. <clears throat> raise the degree of the significance. What the fuck? How complicated do I get? Raise. God damn. Anyways. What's going on here with the, with the, with the four of coins? Oh Lord, Eight of Swords, they're holding back something. Four of Cups, tell me more, tell me more. King of Wands, again, all this fire energy, tell me more. What are they holding back? What, what is this? What is this? What is this? All right, this individual is holding back how how badly they were inflicted by whatever happened between you guys. So this individual may come forward here and exude an element of confidence, of you know, stability, groundedness, um, wanting to woo you. And I mean, they're coming in lightly. They did appear as a page of coins. It's simply, you know, something really light. Nevertheless, Gemini, I feel that they're, you know, they're, they're shrouding the depths of what they went through due to whatever happened between you two. That is simply what I see beneath the four of coins. Now, I'm going to be taking this to the extended, ladies and gents, where I'm going to be focusing on them entirely. I'm going to be looking into their feelings. I'm going to be looking into their perception of how they view you. I'm going to be looking into this individual's actions towards you this week and the future trajectory of where this is going. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, Gemini, I will see you next time.